power and speed of belt conveyors can present unique hazards for miners working on or around them. You may think that accidents related to belt conveyors are a low probability. However, the consequences are very high. Many belt conveyor accidents have led to serious injuries, amputations, and death. It can happen in an instant. That's what John Anacheni discovered one afternoon while trying to adjust a moving, unguarded belt. I proceeded to adjust this conveyor belt. The belt was not moving like it should have been moving. So I bent down to take a look and put my hand on the side of the conveyor. Uh, about that time, the conveyor belt had snapped over and grabbed my hand and finger and it started to pull me off balance. Well, I'd stuck my other arm down to catch myself and unfortunately I, I placed it on the bottom of the belt, which was traveling in the direction of the tail pulley. Uh, it pulled me right into the tail pulley where it then had uh, started to sever my arm. The arm was actually severed at the elbow in this area here where it had taken it completely off and up under the armpit when it twisted it, it tried to pull it out of the chest cavity. MSHA has investigated a high number of severe injuries and fatalities from accidents involving belt conveyors, both in coal and metal and non-metal mining, on the surface and underground, at small mines and large. The victims have been young and old, with all levels of experience. What their deaths had in common is they could have been prevented by following three common sense safeguards. First, install proper guarding then lock out, tag out, and block against motion. And lastly, provide crossovers for belt conveyors. Install and maintain substantial, durable guarding that cannot be easily bypassed and will protect people from coming into contact with moving machine parts, including conveyor drive components, head and tail pulleys, take-up pulleys, couplings, sprockets, rollers, idlers, and other similar moving parts of a belt conveyor system. Always keep guards securely in place while conveyors are operating or energized. Guards should be designed, constructed, and maintained to withstand vibration and shock during normal operation. Ensure the guard itself does not pose a hazard when workers are handling them. No points or sharp edges. Paint guards a consistent, recognizable color. Before performing maintenance on any belt conveyor, the power must be off, locked out and tagged. Apply your lock and tag to prevent anyone else from turning on the power. Make sure you keep the key while performing maintenance. Remember that it is extremely important to turn off the power and lock out and tag at the source. For example, do not just turn off power by using start-stop controls like belt switches or emergency stop devices such as pull cords. If a lock and tag is not installed on the power sources, other miners could inadvertently start machinery with deadly consequences. It has happened. Crossovers need to be provided at strategic locations along the belt conveyor to ensure safe access. Crossovers, like walkways, need to be of substantial construction, provided with handrails and tow boards where necessary, and maintained in good condition. Do not attempt to cross a moving conveyor, except at a designated crossing point. Taking shortcuts to cross a moving belt can have deadly consequences. Conveyors next to walkways or travelways need to be equipped with emergency stop devices. Belt conveyor systems are essential parts of many mining operations. It's easy to forget that they are powerful and unforgiving machinery. That's why it is crucial to have the required safeguards that keep miners safe when working on or around belt conveyor systems. Your safety depends on being aware and taking proper precautions.